What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are at Sioux Falls Regional Airport for the 35th airport update, and the first airport update for the new 2023 calendar year. Man, six years I've been doing YouTube stuff, and this is going to now be my third full year of doing airport updates on this channel. So, I'm really happy with where I'm at in this position. I'm super thankful for everybody that has supported me along the way. And I'm just very happy where uh, my collection is at right now, so I can do all these airport updates. But, moving on from that topic, we do have quite a lot to discuss in the Sioux Falls Regional Airport Update. As we have some interesting movements, a lot of charters have also visited as well, and... I'll be talking more about that American Mainline service and what's to come in general throughout 2023 for FSD. Starting off here at gate number one, we have this Frontier Airbus A320neo. This aircraft to ride in on a service from Denver, flight 442, at 9.04 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 9.34 a.m. arrival, and that is our first aircraft for 2023. Moving on to gate five, so we'll just kind of go on in like a, a backwards U shape around the terminal here. But parked here at gate number five, we have this American Eagle CRJ-900. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Dallas-Fort Worth, flight 5810, operated by Mesa Airlines. This arrived in at 11.35 p.m. delay from an 11.13 p.m. scheduled arrival time. So pretty much all the flights, except a couple of them in this airport update, are from Thursday, January 5th. We do have a couple flights from Friday, January 6th, which is the day I'm recording this video. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that. And one interesting thing, too, that I do want to talk about is that Mesa Airlines is they are not going to be operating with American Airlines anymore. They are switching uh, to United Airlines in March of this year. So that does mean we will likely see United CRJ 900s for the first time. And that is going to be quite interesting to see uh, when those do get unveiled. Whether or not this is going to um, completely discontinue the Phoenix uh, Sky Harbor service that we have, I don't know. Our Dallas service is going to remain because we will be getting that on mainline. They'll be twice daily on an Airbus A319, but it is possible that uh, United will not be operating this Mesa service any longer unless Mesa decides to continue it. But I'll be sure to keep an eye out on that and watch for any further developments on that. But it is quite interesting that we do have that stuff to discuss um, for this portion of the video. So that is pretty much I ha all I have for this aircraft. Let's move on. A bit of a surprise here as we have an Allegiant Airbus A319 pushing back from gate number 7. So kind of interesting in that Allegiant is operating on a gate 7. I did see that there was a gate 8 that it looks like that one of the Allegiant flights from this same day took um, Thursday, January 5th. So not sure what's happening there. I'll have to look into that a little bit more, but I'm not fully aware of an eighth gate at the Sioux Falls Regional Airport. There's only seven gates as far as I know. Of course, there are multiple um, gate aprons that I have, but those are just like, you know, A and B and all that, just different parking positions for that specific gate. So kind of interesting that we do have an Allegiant um, backing out of one of the United gates. So we do have a United mainline aircraft that will be taking this gate here in just a few minutes. But this aircraft right here, this Allegiant A319 pushing back, is going to be heading out to Nashville today on flight 341. It departed at 10.32 a.m., a little bit behind a 10.28 a.m. scheduled departure time, so just a four-minute delay for this aircraft. Full lineup on the north side of the Costello Terminal here at the Sioux Falls Regional Airport. We'll go ahead and take a look at gate number six with our other uh, United Mainline service that is parked here. Uh, we have this United Airbus A319. This came in from Chicago O'Hare on flight 2192 at 9.40 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 9.58 p.m. arrival. Remember that United 737 MAX 9 service that I talked about in the December 2022 FSD update? Yeah, that didn't happen, so it was still on a 739 when that flew in. I'm not sure what happened with that if they decided to swap it out like I anticipated that they would, but it is a bit unfortunate that we didn't get a MAX 9. But we were supposed to get a MAX 9 from Chicago here earlier this week as I record this. I think it was around Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember the exact date off the top of my head, but we were supposed to get a 737 MAX 9, Evo Blue livery, I might add, by the way, Evo Blue livery MAX 9 from Chicago. But Mother Nature had other plans, and she decided to bring in quite a big snowstorm, which dropped about a foot of snow here in Sioux Falls and shut down the airport for several days. Um, so as such, that Chicago MAX 9 flight did not happen. So I am getting very unlucky with these 737 MAXs, because the other times that I was anticipating a MAX before this United stuff happened, uh, there were supposed to be, I think, two 737 MAX uh, test flights from Boeing. One of them was a MAX 7, and then the other was a MAX 9 with that really cool Alaska, like, Eco Demonstrator livery. I can't think of the exact name of it right now. Um, but we were supposed to get those two planes, or at least they were um, on their flight plan, 
But those planes never came in. Instead, they kind of circled around the Pacific Northwest and just went back to Boeing Field. So we never got to see those Maxes. So I'm still waiting for that first 737 Max visit um, for Sioux Falls, which I've already seen plenty of Maxes at Chicago and whatnot, but I'm hopeful that we will get a Max here in Sioux Falls in the future. So hopefully United will schedule another Max on either their Chicago or Denver mainline services, um, whichever one is best applicable for them. And hopefully that will happen in the near future. Our Atlanta service still going strong here at gate number four with this Delta Airbus A319 arriving in as flight 1729. This touched down at 10.35 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 10.40 p.m. arrival. In our last aircraft at the terminal here at gate number two, we have this Delta Connection CRJ900. This aircraft arrived in from Minneapolis today, flight 5468, operated by Endeavor Air. At 8.06 p.m. delayed from a 7.55 p.m. scheduled arrival time, so this is just an 11 minute delay for this aircraft. We are still getting the Embraer 175, so Gemini Jets, I ask you again to please do one of those. I don't know how many times we're going to have to say it before we see it. I know we've been getting great releases from Gemini Jets nonetheless, and I've been, you know, picking them up left and right and center and up and down, blah de blah de blah you know. Um, but that Delta Connection Embraer 175 is a crucial model that I need for the Sioux Falls Airport series. So hopefully that gets done in the future, because that has never been done before. I don't know how it hasn't yet, but... The, f the fact that it needs to happen has just been so overwhelming that I'm quite surprised that we haven't seen it yet. Maybe they have it planned out and they already have it produced and it's just sitting at the warehouse, but we don't know for sure. So hopefully that is released sooner than later. And that is everything we have here at the terminal for the Sioux Falls Regional Airport. we got a couple other aircraft roaming around and we've got a whole bunch of charters as well that I'll talk about their purpose because I know quite a bit about them as well. So we'll pan on over here to this United 737-800 taxiing into gate number 7. This is the aircraft that I was talking about that was supposed to park at gate 7, but we did have that Allegiant aircraft occupying that gate and is now pushing back so that they can head out to Nashville. So uh, this United 738 coming in from Denver today, flight 1305. This arrived in at 8.12 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 8.26 p.m. arrival. And that is all of our passenger aircraft. Let's check out our three charter aircraft that we have. Yes, count them up. One, two, and three charter aircraft at the Sioux Falls Regional Airport today. Very excited to get into this, so let's hop in. And here they all are on the hard stand here, or at least on the de-icing pad, as, as I should say. Um, but I have them all parked here because, obviously, the terminal is all occupied, and I do not have space to represent the Maverick Air Center right now, because I think that's where a lot of these planes would park. But they may have them very well parked at the Costello Terminal right now as I record this, because two of these flights are actually still on the ground right now, or at least they should be on their way. But flight radar is showing them as delayed or, you know, not unknown or whatever, not up in the air right now. So, but I do have all three of them represented because I do have some information on these flights as to, you know, flight number and where they're coming from and where they're going. So here we go. So these three Sun Country aircraft are actually here to take the South Dakota State University Jackrabbit football team down to Frisco, Texas for the NCAA FCS championship game. Yes, so the Jackrabbits, they are a really good football team in the FCS um, division of NCAA football. Um, they have made it into the FCS playoffs for, I think, the last 11 years now, 11, 12 years now, which is crazy. It's one of the longest active streaks in that division. So needless to say, this Jackrabbit football team is really good. And as a Jackrabbit right now, I am rooting for the Jackrabbits, and I'm hopeful that they will win the FCS championship. They're playing against the North Dakota State University Fighting Bison, which is going to be essentially a rematch of the Dakota Marker game because these two teams played earlier in the season as part of that Dakota Marker game series. So um, SDSU, I think, has now won the last two meetings um, in that Dakota Marker game. So this will be their third meeting. I'm hopeful they'll make it a three-peat in terms of, you know, winning that meeting. So hopefully that is the case. By the time this video goes out, obviously that championship game will have been played out. It's being played uh, Sunday, January 7th um, down in Frisco, Texas at the Toyota Stadium, um, which I know they've hosted the FCS championship game I think a few times and they also have some other various events there as well. So yeah, by the time this video goes out, like I said, the game will have already been played and I'm hopeful that the Jackrabbits will have won because that would be awesome. I don't know what, what the school will do if they um, win the title game and everything, if they'll give us a day off or whatever, or they'll have some sort of special celebration. Whatever, whatever the case may be, if they do win, I'm hopeful it's something really good. So all these aircraft have come in from Minneapolis, I believe, and then all of them are going to be heading out to Dallas. Um, so I think one of them flew into Dallas Love Field, and then the other two are just going to DFW, from what I understand. So um, these are transporting um, 
obviously team personnel. I think one of the planes, one of the separate planes, which I think is this blue one right over here. This came in on Thursday, and I believe this this was probably the plane that took like you know team personnel and the players and whatnot uh, down at uh, Frisco, Texas. And I think these two planes right here, I think these are being chartered for all the fans that are going to go to the game. So all like you know the um, students that are going to SDSU that want to go see that football game and possibly other fans as well that are interested in going and they want to get on one of these planes. So kind of kind of cool that they were able to get all these Sun Country planes chartered. That's like, this is three planes, so I can't imagine the cost to get all these planes chartered. That has got to be through the roof, if, if I had to guess. But the details obviously not ever released on that information, so that's just kind of all I have on that. So go Jacks, and hopefully they win the championship game. And that will do it for this update. Our first one for 2023. Ignore the uh, big shadow over there. That's my iPad. I have that set up so that I can read off all the flight information as always. Maybe I'll do a behind the scenes airport update video. So let me know if you guys are interested in that because I am willing to do more content like that this year. So obviously uh, last month I did talk about that airport expansion that the airport board had approved. Uh, there hasn't been any further news on that from what I understand, so it seems like they might be working on the details in private. So hopefully we'll get more information on that in the future, perhaps later this year. And then obviously the American Mainline service coming up from Dallas, that's starting next month now. It's going to be less than a month away. I'm so excited. The good news is it starts on a Friday, and since I'll be home, I'll be able to go out to the airport to see it. Weather permitting, of course, because South Dakota weather in February is not that great. Um, it can either be bitterly cold or there'll poss possibly be a snowstorm. So if that happens, uh, the first flight may not happen on time. And obviously those charters that we just took a look at there with the Jackrabbits and uh, taking all the players and fans and whatnot down to Dallas for the football game. So go Jacks. Another th big thing, too, that I do want to talk about is that the Sioux Falls Air Show is making a return this year. For the first time in four years, July 29th and the 30th, the Sioux Falls Air Show is back. Power on the Prairie 2023. The United States Air Force Thunderbirds are the headline of the show once again, just like with the 2019 show, which I did attend. Feel free, feel free to go check out that playlist that I made. Um, it was made on my old DSLR camera, which I unfortunately am no longer using, as I now have this really nice uh, Sony camcorder, which I will be using at the air show, unless something weird happens between now and then, which I'm hopeful there won't be anything like that, but, yeah, and life can happen sometimes, but anyways... So I'm very excited about this air show, and there has been one performer that's already been announced, which is the uh, MV-22 demonstration team. So that is that Osprey plane, the cool one that has, like, the propellers that can, um, you know, they can be pointed vertically or horizontally so that the aircraft can do, you know, VTOL landings and takeoffs and all that. Um, so that's going to be really cool to see. But otherwise, no other performers have been announced for the air show. I am keeping an eye on that. So in the next Sioux Falls Airport update, if any new developments have happened, I will be sure to provide them in the airport update, possibly towards the end of the video. And just some other general news I do want to discuss as well. I know this video has been running for quite a while now, but this is kind of what happens when we start a new year and there's a lot, a lot of crazy things happening all at once. Retro FSD will be taking over that last Friday at 4.30 p.m. I have officially decided to discontinue Oklahoma City as there is not enough space um, where I'm at to um, continue doing that airport, that airport series. So officially, Oklahoma City will be discontinued, and for the time being, Retro FSD will take over. So that does mean monthly airport updates at least up until May. Um, but if I do end up finding more assets and I can continue to, continue to do more updates into the 90s, um, I'll have additional stuff to do. Um, for that time slot, but otherwise I will have backup plans ready for additional content on that last Friday of the month Just so we can continue to have that consistent schedule going And yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything that was a lot to, for me to go through so hopefully if you hopefully if you guys uh, Stuck through all that. I hope you enjoyed so with that being said that is the end of the video Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one